Hey guys, it's Chris and welcome back to the Nut Farm. This is my 4000 Tower Quick Pack 060. I have myself a short IDE cable here. The 4000 Tower has both IDE on a header up here and SCSI on a card up here. Wow, that's awesome. What are you going to do? You just did all this awesome cable management. The idea is I bought myself an IDE zip drive. I was going to buy a SCSI zip drive but they were a little expensive so I took this out to get the cable to put in here but the idea is this I have in here a Zulu SCSI which is just conveniently sitting right here I'm going to unplug it and remove it it's just on pinch rails and out she comes 3D printed white and there you go this is going to go into one of these slots probably in the back here she always likes, you know, she likes it in the back slot. We're just going to slide that right in there and clicks in place. Yep, it's going to be this way in the front of the case, but nobody sees it, and I don't care. So I'm going to scoot the SCSI car, or the CD-ROM, also down a notch. I need this for this. This is an IDE zip drive in the same ash bone white. That the rest of my stuff is. Luckily this 4000 came with a hard drive. It didn't work and I kept the rails for it. Always keep your rails. Don't ever throw them away. These rails are going to clip onto here some way, shape, or form. Probably like that. And click into here and I'll have a zip drive. But first, I need to set this to Massa or Slave. It is currently set for Cable Select. That does not go on an Amiga. It'll just be master. I don't care. I need to get the screws for it. They are M3.50 pitch. So that'll sit like this. This'll sit like this. Now let's put it in there. Hey! And I'll do some magic Thailand tucking. Ooh, back here. Zip tie it up. Whatever. We have some extra cable, okay? There's a little bit of extra cable. I'm going to just hide it over here. Just somehow give it the tuck. I got the tuck for the wires under there. Let's just tuck the cable underneath there too. Now I'm going to put the drive tray back in and see if I can plug the CD-ROM in here. Right. If you want to really enjoy your Friday evening, take your Amiga apart and F with it. I'm sure you'll have a problem and it'll be a nightmare and you'll spend all night trying to get back where you were before you even started. And then, you feel successful, but you got nothing at all accomplished. Got it shoved back in there, kind of kept it as nice as I could. I was trying to do some cable flip, but it's just, eh. Anyway, it's opened up, everything is in there. Cables are okay, they're not perfect, but... Alright, it's a total mess. Let's see. We get a light. Wonderful. Here's a brand new zip drive. Sometimes booting with the cartridge in will help it. So adding this zip drive, which is not really the closest in color, but it's close enough for me. It popped up, and holy bar mitzvah, I didn't do a thing. And there's my zip drive. Did I already do this in the past? Apparently I did. There's a Mega Test Kit 1.5. And TurboText. Running off the zip drive. You know what, that's even better because... Open it. There's my test in TurboTex. There it is. This is the test. Cool. So, SCSI 00 IDE iOmega. SCSI 00 SCSI Zulu. It says UAE HD0 HDA because that's what I named it when I was making the hard drive. Win UAE. Well, IO Tools. Alright, so it finds it. If I double click on it, it'll yell at me. Drive info. Can't do nothing, then it works. SCSI.DivideAmiga OS0. Run a diagnostic. It yells at you and then it works. It's doing some science. It's doing something. The self-test of the SCSI.Divide Unit 0 passed. I wish it would have named it I, and then it yells at me. Unable to obtain the correct buffer type. Assuming mem f underscore 24 bit DMA. Please use the settings menu to correct the buffer memory for your controller. 
buffer memory. Um, buff mem type zero x zero. I don't know. Sorry, I can't find the help. Great. Well, at least it sees it. So disk info. I have 99% life and 92% format life remaining. Fast file system. It's got a serial number. Disk type name zip one. Great. Park drive. See if it goes to sleep. Clicked. Shut up. And didn't yell. And then it'll yell at me up here in a minute. I am Mega Tools by Amiga Incorporated. Really? Hey, you know what? That's cool by me. Let's see if I can eject the disk. It'll yell. And it says zip busy. And it ejects it. That's kind of neat right there. It sees that it picked it up on its own right away on this IDE bus, which is SCSI on here. It will not work as a slave. It only The slave is the default setting. It will not work at, at least with my setup. It just pops right up, zip. Alright, let's do this. Let's eject this disc. Let it yell. Let it eject. Let me grab another disc. We got this guy. I'm just going to sit it right here. Pull this out from right here. Another brand new zip. Brand new. I ordered these a long time ago. Brand new. Put this one in. Other one's right there. Let's see what this does. I think it's using my default icon. Okay, so zip uninitialized. Let's format the disc. Let's let it yell. We're going to call this one zip. Zip, all caps. Fast file sys, dir cache, I don't know. Fast file system international, quick format, let it rip. Fader chip, format completed, did a quick initialization, I have a new icon. Cool, and it just works. Now, let me just manually eject the disk. Disk disappears, put it back in. Zip icon right there. Hot swappable. Let me copy some crap to it here. Sysinfo. And I'm going to copy directory of it for. Not bad speed. You can see the little lights blinking away. SCSI IDE. It's a good thing because I have some USB zip drives for my modern computers in case you know I'm networking. 100 megs a click. That's pretty good for the Amiga because, you know. It doesn't take much to do that. This is a self-contained directory opus, so I can have it on a zip disk. Nice. And I can take stuff back and forth to whatever. And it's reasonably fast. Works fine. Now what I'm going to try something after this is done copying. I'm going to run these I.O. tools in a second. Close the zip drive when it's done. And uh, we're going to lock the drive so the, the iOmega drives can be locked. Lock it. It's going to yell. It's going to say write protect it. Password. But hole. Verify your password. But hole. Okay. Zip busy. It's doing this little laser lock thing. Yellow about the DMA. It's right protected. Alright, let's see. Zip drive. Let's try copy I demo to it. Look at that. Right protected. Cool. Let's take it out. Put the disc back in. Is it still right protected? Yeah. Sweet. So we're going to be doing the unlock drive. Uh, remove protection. My password is butt hole. Is it busy? Your bitch about the DMA. It works. Copy I demo. Copy right to it. Cool. Delete that. Hey, I'm pleased with that. Can I eject from here? No, we can I.O. tools eject, and uh, it will yell about the DMA, and then if I click OK, it'll eject it anyway. Luckily, this spring is not strong enough to where it will shoot it halfway across the room like my other drives.
good eject, it's a good drive, good disc. And I got a Zip 100 in my 4000 tower. Now I'm going to put this pizza back together because it's going to be at least a week before I get my uh, parts I need to complete a project I'm working on. But I think I'm going to use the 3000 tower for that project. We got, we got a Zip Drive 100 IDE for the 4000T. Move the Zulu down here. Move the CD-ROM down a tickle. Everybody's still happy. And we're good to go. I'm going to get this pizza dressed. Here she is all oh, got her clothes back on. And I just fired it up. It's just booting now. It does take a little bit longer to initialize between scanning this drive and the SCSI bus for this drive. But she fires right up. I didn't plug in a keyboard or mouse. I did put the plastic piece inside the case here where the Zulu now sits. And there you go. So, hey, I got an upgrade. So thank you guys for hanging out with an old dude for a night. I appreciate it greatly. Thanks to all my subscribers and patrons to keep me going. This is my own machine, so it was funded by my wallet. But anyway, that's all I got for now. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something.